Silver Rats, another popular request from solo players. Let's go through the basic stuff quickly, then we'll look at the strategy. Play on at least overkill, so yep, just overkill will do. Our bags must be secured at the escape vent. Remember, secured, not carried into the escape, and completing the heist is not required. To complete the cage objective, we'll first put one bag in, raise the balloon, then retrieve the bag. The plane will swoop in and leave the empty cage away, triggering the escape. One of the manholes nearby will then be accessible, leading us underground all the way to the vent. The point of no return timer only starts when a player enters the sewer, so open up the manhole and toss the bags in first to save some time. On overkill, we'll have 3 minutes and 30 seconds, but a single human player, basically solo, gets some extra love. 4 minutes. And that's the basic stuff. So the question now is, how many players do we need, and can this be done solo? Well, any number will do, though the more players we have, the less we'll rely on RNG. Uh, speaking of which, there are 3 layers here. First, we have a random amount of 8, 9 or 10 money bags. The less the better of course. Next is the manhole position. One of 4 possible spots will be selected, and the closer to the north, the better. So basically, best to worst goes like this. Then the last layer is the sewer tunnels. It's basically the diamond puzzle. We can have downright horrible, average, or even a godlike combination, except it cannot be reset. So what's a good benchmark? Well, the number of bags can be ignored, as even 10 bags are doable. The tunnels are unpredictable and far too late into the heist to really consider, so that leaves the manholes. For solo, we would want at least the second manhole. For two players, at least the third manhole. Then for three or more players is more or less guaranteed, so just try for it. Setup wise, is again the usual speed running stuff. A saw is great for the deposit boxes as well as any gates we encounter in the sewers. Drill skills is a luxury, because we might be doing this over and over. I hope not. Then we have the uh, standard movement speed stuff. Light armors, second wind, partner in crime aced, inspire basic for multiplayer and the invigorator crew boost for the heavy ballistic vest and heavier. Obviously, don't forget transporter basic. Now, let's do the approach. In multiplayer, usually the fastest player or the one with a saw runs ahead to scout while the rest of the team move backs. Personally, I don't think scouting is needed because the correct path is usually quite obvious. Just keep heading north. Most importantly, load up any AI with one bag each to carry all the way till the end. And then we just chain the bags as efficiently as we can. One weird move to get the bags up and out the sewers quickly is to jump off the top and throw. This way we'll drop quickly and without dying, and can repeat for the rest. The AI can sometimes screw up on their party, so keep an eye out and call them if they get stuck. And if we find ourselves running out of time, keep going. Our aim is to only secure the bags, so we may still make it, even if we fail the heist. Okay, that's mostly pretty straightforward stuff. The usual clips and gameplays will be coming up next, so hang around. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay back!
Wipe that crap off your shoes and secure the money.
scared that medic fuck. Hurry! They really opened the valve. The van can't wait forever. You need to move it now. Hey, Tony! Follow me now! Follow me now! You got it! Hey, Bodie! On me 